directed by Aylia Nishuler and written by Derek Colstad, who happens to be the same man who wrote John Wick 1, 2 and 3. And guess what? It is like John Wick. Here's this guy who was just a simple and assuming family man with a very specific set of skills. Who was just at home with his family one night when some burglars decided to break into his house. And guess what they did? Wrong. No. They didn't kill his dog. They took his daughter's bracelet. And then, mayhem. So Hutch Mansell was a hitman for the government. And one day after sparing one of his target's life, he decides to go back to check up on him to see if he has turned over a new page, so to speak. And what Hot saw was the man living a happy family life and decided that he also wants that for himself. So, he decided to quit the Hitman game and he did just that. But now, things have gotten dull and his life feels empty and the relationship with his family, especially with his wife, is suffering because of that. Until... One night, two thieves decided to break into his house. They got away and no one got injured. So he decided he would have let it go. Until he realized they made the fatal mistake of stealing his daughter's bracelet. The action in this movie was awesome. It wasn't smooth and polished like John Wick. It was more rough and gritty like Daniel Craig's James Bond or Jack Reacher or even Liam Neeson in Taken. However, what he and John Wick did have in common though was that he also took a while to get back in the groove. You could see that he was rusty at first and he did take quite a few beatings. But man did he dish out the beatings. I really did appreciate that though. I like the way they made him seem more human instead of so untouchable and OP like John Wick. At any time, it seemed like he could seriously get injured or even die. He was definitely more relatable. Even the struggles that he had in his relationship, you felt it and you were really hoping they would work things out. I think the movie should have spent a little bit more time exploring that. The camera work and the editing were also excellent. And also the acting, especially by the lead character, Hutch Mansell, played by Bob Odenkirk. It was also starred by Connie Nielsen, who played his wife, Becca. You may know her better as Wonder Woman's mom, Queen Hippolyta of the Amazons. And also Riza, as his brother, Harry. You know that rapper from Wu-Tang Clan? Yeah, Riza. And also Christopher Lloyd, as Hutch Mansell's father, David. You may know him better as Doc, that old man from Back to the Future. And the bad guy was played by Alexei Serebryakov as Yulia. And I definitely feel like there should have been some more time spent on developing a backstory for the villain. So that we could better connect with him and he could feel like more of a threat. And there's a few other faults that I found with the movie. Like for example, after hunting down the guys who broke into his house, and finding them, they couldn't find the bracelet. So he just left. And while on his way home, while on a bus, some random guys drove down the bus, came out of their car, went on the bus, and just started making trouble. Then one of them happened to be the brother of the villain. I think instead of all of those coincidences, they could have simply let it all connect and play out on screen. Like for instance, the thief could have said that the bad guys have somehow ended up with the bracelet and that they travel on a certain bus at a certain time and then direct him how to find them. Or, after he left the thief's house, the thief could have called them and told them what happened and then they drove him down, stopped the bus and went on it. That would have made a lot more sense. And there's also a scene late in the movie where he finds his daughter's bracelet on the dead body of one of the men that were sent to kill him. I think earlier in the scene on the bus was the right time for him to find the bracelet and then should have brought it home and handed it to his daughter. Then there was the 
time of the robbery when Hutch Manso's son actually snuck up and subdued one of the robbers. He actually subdued the one that didn't have a gun and was wrestling with him on the ground. The one with the gun could have just simply shot him. So that didn't make any sense. And there is also no explanation as to how Hutch has a black brother, Riza. There is a scene where they were showing a picture of both of them and their father when they were young and I think they should have just simply let a black woman be on the picture as well. Those issues that I had with the movie are the reasons I'm not giving it an A. I'm giving nobody a B+. It was highly entertaining and full of action and definitely worth watching twice. It would have been only my third A for the year along with Zack Snyder's Justice League and The Swordsman 2020, both of which I reviewed on this channel, so you can go check them out. I met me tell you something. Let me tell you what to happen if you don't watch that video here. And leave, and don't like, subscribe, and press the bell. I'm gonna fuck you up. Simple. I just when police ask you who know, oh, maybe. Me, um... Nobody.